Hello again, my name is John Hodgson. I am the art director at Cubicle 7 Entertainment Limited, www.cubicle7.co.uk. And this parcel has just been delivered. Let's have a look at what it is. Now, as usual, I'm quite excited because I don't. Ooh, I'm kicking over piles of book here. Um, I'm not certain what this is. I think I might know, but I'm not entirely certain. So let's have a look. What do we have here? I always like to show opening the box as well because you can see what kind of packing job our stuff is delivered using. Certainly this is Europe, UK, rest of the world um, packaging from the, the great guys in the UK. Get some of that. <laughs> I can see what it is. Get these out of the way. So we have... Oh, we've got a couple of books here. Very exciting. Do, 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 do. So we've got Doctor Who Adventures in Time and Space, The Time Traveller's Companion. Very exciting. And underneath, <gasps> Doctor Who Adventures in Time and Space. The first Doctor Source book. So, this one is by Nathaniel Torson. Slightly thicker book. Let's put them side by side for comparison. Slightly thicker. Now this one really, really, the Time Traveller's Companion really, really layers on new layers of, of stuff to add into your Doctor Who games. If you want more crunch in your Doctor Who games, it's all right here. If you want uh, a lot more about Time Lords, Time Travel, and the TARDIS. It's all in here. Now, I'm not going to go into painstaking detail about the contents of these. There's lots of information on the Cubicle 7 website. I just want to have a flick through and check out how things are looking. Cool. Oh, yeah, look, so this is all the TARDIS system stuff. Tractor beam operation. Because Nathaniel really knows his Doctor Who inside out. And I know on his part this has been an absolute labour of love of this book. And we've all been waiting for this one for a very long time. Due to various factors in producing the Doctor Who role playing game. It'd help if I put it down, wouldn't it? And then we can... You might even be able to see it a little bit more clearly. Excuse me, bumping the camera there. Nice stuff. There's good old Colin Baker, Davros. Awesome stuff. I love these full pages that we're doing. They're just great. So full credits. Writing and design, Nathaniel Torson. Additional writing, Andrew Peregrine. The line developers are Dominic McDowell and Gareth Hanrahan. Great stuff. Layouts by Nathaniel. Hmm, <laughs> cool. Good stuff. So what's a full page count? I think that was, was that 160? No, 238. 160, of course, is the um, the Doctor Source books. 238. So good size book. And just so much stuff in there. Check out the website. Check out the forums. Loads of stuff. I'm really excited about this one. So this is the first Doctor source book. We are doing a source book for each of the incarnations of the Doctor. This is the first one out, obviously, starting at the beginning with the first Doctor, William Hartnell. And this one's in black and white, um, in keeping with the with the show being in black and white. So this one is by Darren Pierce with uh, Gareth Ryder Hanrahan. Layout on this one is by Paul Bourne. Uh, line development is Gareth Ryder Hanrahan. Let's just check I got all that right. Indeed I did. Oh, additional development, Nathaniel Torson. I don't want to miss Nathaniel. So great stuff. So what I should give you a bit of a rundown about what, what these the Doctor Who the different doctors source books are all about. So 
in each of these you'll find a rundown of every single adventure that the Doctor has in his in the various series that that Doctor appeared in. Every kind of arc and episode is, is detailed in detail from the point of view of running your games. It's also, I mean, it's a great fan resource because you've got all, all the different characters from the shows statted up. The synopsis, so this is the episode, the Aztec, the adventure rather, the Aztecs, the synopsis of, of what happens. And then you have a whole section on running this adventure. So the Aztecs is a fascinating adventure. It's structurally beautiful with a cast of intriguing characters and strong conflicts. And it does it all without needing science fiction plot devices. It's a wonderful model for a historical adventure. The balance of power, changing history, the Templar environments. It's giving you all, all the information you're going to need to, to put, put these adventures into your Doctor Who Adventures in Time and Space games. And there's loads and loads of kind of GM advice. And there's loads of, let me see if I can find one of the sidebars that I really like. So yeah, so why do you investigate? So sometimes players may be unwilling to get involved in an adventure. Now, I think we've all had that problem uh, where people want to play it safe. Ian's player might say, no, Doctor, this isn't our time. You said you'd bring us here. You said you'd bring us there. Try again. Skipping the whole adventure that the game's master has planned. There are three ways to deal with this. So it goes gives you lots of advice on running the game, which I just think is brilliant. I love stuff like that. I think that's really, really useful, meaty stuff. And there's the, those sidebars run throughout the book to give you lots of ideas for, for getting Doctor Who right thematically, specifically for this first Doctor. And I believe all the, all the Doctor source books will give you that kind of stuff. Look at that, I love that picture. I was just looking at this in PDF the other day. So excuse me, yeah, sometimes when I'm recording these I just stop and I stop talking and I'm just looking and reading the book. It's so nice to get them in your hand as a, as a physical book. Much as we love PDFs, you know, at the, at the gaming table with like a a tablet or what have you, it's really useful, it's really utilitarian, but nothing beats a book, eh? Ah, look, the spine on these. I'm interested in how that came out. That printed absolutely beautifully spot on. Got a bit of packing still attached. There we go. But the spine of these, when if you get the whole set, they're all going to rack up and there's uh, a single image of all the, all the doctors when it's on your shelf, spine out you'll see all the doctors lined up. Again, check out the uh, Cubicle 7 website to see more about that. Great stuff. Well done, everybody involved in both of these books. Really, really good stuff. Always lovely to see our, our books in hard copy. It's what it's all about, getting games into people's hands. Beautiful, well-written games. Clever games for awesome people. I hope you can get hold of a copy of these. They're both in stores now. Um, go buy them at your brick and mortar store if you can. Support those guys. They support us and we should support them. Look at all these. Look, check out all the uh, character sheets. Sorry to interrupt your uh, the, your um, public service information broadcast about supporting your brick and mortar game stores. But check out all these uh, character sheets. Look, Barbara Wright, Ben Jackson, Dodo Dorothea Caplet, Chaplet, sorry, Ian Chester, Ian Chester. I can't speak. Why don't you just read the names? Polly Wright, Katarina, Susan there, Stephen Taylor, Peter Purvis, and Vicky. So you've got you've got everything you need to run your first Doctor games. Um, there's some cool stuff at the beginning that, that talks about the um, yeah playing in the first Doctor era because it's a slightly different show. It's not like the the show is now. Very different, and I mean, you know, 50 years ago. Can you believe it? 50 years of Doctor Who. Anyway, there we go. I should have said more about Time Traveller's Companion, because I've waxed lyrical about the uh, first Doctor book. Ecclestone. There's so much stuff in here. You know, History of the Time Lords. Dark Secrets of the Time Lords. Very, very good. And again, yeah, both of these, really interesting if you're just interested in the show. Good stuff. Anyway, I was wrapping up. Go and buy these books. Very, very good.